for the Day by artist Dan Hill. Book for the Day artist Dan Hill was inspired to create this sculpture after seeing a 10-year-old named Erica who just couldn't put down the book Harry Potter. This piece was initially displayed in the fourth annual Sculptures in the Streets exhibit in the winter of 2002-2003. It was selected and purchased through Mesa, Arizona's permanent sculpture panel for the city's permanent collection. The friends of the library saw it, fell in love with her, and the sculpture was purchased in 2008. She sits as high as most of the guests who love to sit with her and brings smiles to patrons entering the building. You can find this sculpture in the library's main foyer entryway as she sits on a bench reading her book. The P-22 Saw Yamaha Acoustic Piano. In Thomaston, Georgia, pride of craftsmanship merges with state-of-the-art technology to produce pianos of uncompromising quality. Pianos built in the most sophisticated and efficient upright piano manufacturing plant in the world from American and imported parts. Yamaha's dedication to the finest in workmanship, engineering, and materials is legendary. Today, the legend continues with Yamaha pianos built right here in the United States using a combination of parts and materials from top quality American suppliers and Yamaha's factories around the world. Pianos you can purchase and play with full confidence in their musical integrity. Pianos that are crafted with care by Yamaha. It is said a Yamaha piano is the instrument of choice by many of the world's top artists, music festivals, international piano competitions, performing arts organizations, and educational institutions, and for anyone who loves the tone and touch of a fine piano. The library graciously offers this instrument to the performers during the Friends Music Concert Series, which was so generously purchased by the Friends of the Library. Purchased in March of 2006, this beautiful instrument is located in the library's main meeting room. Social Butterfly, artist Mary Carricker. Have you ever watched a small child when they first encounter something delightful in nature? Their laughter and smiles are infectious. This little girl is no exception. You can't help but smile at her delight in the butterfly. Purchased in 2007, the Social Butterfly sculpture is number two of 20 in a limited edition of castings. She sits on a beautiful walnut base with a recessed turntable for easy viewing. The artist was inspired by a three-year-old granddaughter of a friend who was taken to the Butterfly Pavilion in Denver, Colorado, where 90 pictures of her were taken to capture this cast. This adorable bronze sculpture can be seen welcoming patrons to the library as it sits on the two-tier table in the entryway of the library. Abraham Lincoln by artist Raphael Arrieta. Purchased in September of 2011, the Friends of the Library wanted to honor Veterans Day by presenting this striking bust to the library administrator and its board of trustees. It sits high on the top shelf in the quiet reading room located on the library's main floor. In every way, this bust of President Lincoln is a fine work of art that will endure to inspire many generations to come. The stunning bust of President Abraham Lincoln is among the very best depictions of the 16th president. The sculpture has been purchased by others for the personal collections of many notable leaders of government, law, and business across the U.S. The artist has magnificently captured Lincoln in a moment of inner contemplation. The expression changes subtly from every angle. This Lincoln bust was cast in a California art foundry using over 20 pounds of pure bronze. The sculpture is finished with a classic patina in tones of brown, black, and amber. Mounted onto a black marble base, it stands 16 and a half inches high. The artist has signed his name in the bronze and the art bronze foundry seal has been cast into the bronze base. Each sculpture is stamped with its unique number in the total edition limited to just 500 castings. Stained Glass Windows, artist Patty Rose of Rosy Accents. A stained glass window can serve many purposes. It is not only art and a craft, but it can become a treasured part of the architecture and interior decoration of your home or institution. Stained glass can control the way light comes through the window. 
That is what the Friends of the Library had in mind when they purchased these lovely windows for the library. Originally, when the library was built, clear glass windows were installed on each side of the fireplace, allowing too much light to shine in. The stained glass windows were designed by local artist Patty Rose in keeping with the lines and angles of the furniture and design of the building. By using different colors, shades, and textures, a stained or beveled glass window can block much of the sun and still allow plenty of light to come into the room, all while adding a piece of art to the space. Don't miss looking at these windows placed on each side of the fireplace on the main floor at the southwest corner of the library. Artist Sylvia Cook a Chicago area native involved with textiles and graphics all her life and a member and officer of the Friends of the Library, Sylvia creates archival quality acid-free paper. Over the years, Sylvia has combined the feel of textiles with the look of painting, leading her to work in paper art where she is able to make the fabric, which is handmade paper, and then embellish it with iridescent washes, wisps of copper or gold, jewel tone enamels, and the sparkle of sequins. Sylvia states, I began my professional life as a textile designer, so it pleases me that I have found a new fabric to work with, paper that I have created myself. Sylvia attended classes at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago and obtained her Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in textile design at the University of Chicago. She has traveled to Europe, North Africa, and Mexico absorbing the textures and patterns of the architecture, stonework, embroidery and tiles, as well as light and shadows of the deserts, which have become the hallmark of her work. You can view this stunning piece of art hanging on the wall just left of the library's fireplace on the main floor. Encore, the art of the violin, artist Sylvia Cook. The Illinois Philharmonic Orchestra, or for short, the IPO, is a 75-member orchestra and the largest performing arts organization in the Chicago Southland providing professional orchestral music of beauty and excellence to the region. It draws audiences from over 68 South and Southwest suburbs including Chicago, Indiana, and Michigan. Before and after each IPO concert between November 2004 and May 2005, it showcased Encore, the Art of the Violin, a dazzling exhibit of 15 violins artistically transformed into visual masterpieces by professional artists from the Chicago metropolitan area. Once again, our local artist, Sylvia, donated her time and talent to this project, which offered her transformed violin to become one of 15 violins to help as a fundraiser for the IPO. This violin was won by a Friends member who bought a ticket and then generously donated it to the library. It can be found just right of the fireplace in the southwest corner on the main floor. The Irish Suite, artist Kimberly Wallace. Once again, the library became the proud location to display the Illinois Philharmonic Orchestra's Harmony, the Art of Music, a traveling exhibit featuring the works of 19 local artists inspired by instruments and or works performed during the orchestra's 30th anniversary season. These beautiful paintings were on display from April through May of 2008. Each work had the most amazing story to tell, and each one emerged as its own distinctive masterpiece. The library administrator liked the Irish Suite so much that the Friends of the Library commissioned Kimberly Wallace to paint another one for the library. This stunning painting can be viewed sitting on the mantle of the fireplace, located in the southwest corner on the main floor of the library. You Throw, I Catch, artist Mary Kay Peter Whitlock. You Throw, I Catch is a brass symbol embellished by artist Mary Kay Whitlock using permanent marker, engraving, and 22 hand-painted musicians made by the Faller Company in Germany. This symbol was part of a traveling exhibit called Harmony, the Art of Music, featuring the works of 19 Chicagoland artists inspired by instruments or works performed during the Illinois Philharmonic Orchestra's 30th anniversary season in 2006. A striking collaboration between the visual and musical arts, each symbol offers the collector an original piece of artwork that represents the expressive style of its own creator. The library proudly displayed the symbols that were so creatively and beautifully designed during the spring of 2006 which led to the library becoming the proud recipient of this beautiful symbol 
through a purchase by the Friends of the Library. The Open Mind, artist Phyllis Decker. Purchased in 2009, this inspirational bronze sculpture is mounted on a fine walnut base and stands 14 inches high by 14 inches long. The Open Mind speaks to the dedication of mature, serious thinking adults, be they parents, teachers, or librarians, and the responsibility they have to fill the young, innocent mind with all that is worthwhile and valuable to the growing child. The sculpture is a sensitive and insightful portrait of a young child on the threshold of the learning experience. From the book, Up the Steps of Learning to the Open Mind. You can find this unique sculpture on the second floor of the library in the Youth Services Department.